Hello my internet friends. There is a list of Slytherin traits, endless possibly. I'm just going to be talking about the three Slytherin traits that I connect to the most. Before I get into the video, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. In my YouTube house, we accept all. Also, let me just give a little bit of a disclaimer here. So the traits that I'm going to be talking about, these traits mean something different for me than maybe it might mean for you. So this is just my interpretation of some of the traits. And yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Let's get to it. Or perhaps in Slytherin, you'll meet your true friends. The first Slytherin trait that I connect with the most is fraternity. So if we go off of the actual definition of fraternity, a state or feeling of friendship and mutual support in a group. A group of people sharing a common profession or interest. And this is very true for me. I feel like people who are artists, I tend to connect with really strongly. I feel a sort of um, like kindred spirit with artistic people and I usually bond with them a lot quicker and I usually keep the friends that I am very strongly bonded with. I will do anything for those people. If they need help, I will do whatever I can to help them. I can't have surface relationships with people. It has to go beyond that, deeper than that. There's just a trust that I need to build off the bat. I'm just that kind of person. I can't help it. I've always had a small group of friends around me. I've never had like a huge posse. The only friendships that have stayed in my life have been people that I have been strongly connected to over the years. Some people have even moved countries that I have been strongly connected to. Whenever I see the friend that has moved away in a different country, it's as if nothing has changed. And I think those are the best friendships. And usually for me, people who are artists or who are not even artists, but have the mentality of someone who's open and, and compassionate, those are the people that I feel the most support. I feel the strongest friendships come out of those types of people. And so those are the kinds of people that I want in my life. And I'm not saying that I wouldn't branch out and have different people in my circle. I don't know, but so far that's been the pattern for me. Yeah, does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. That's how I connect to fraternity. It may mean something completely different to you, but to me that's what it means. The second trait that I connect to the most, as the hair is like flying into my mouth, <laughs> is self-preservation. With the Hogwarts houses, a lot of people will see a lot of Slytherin traits and be like, oh that's bad, oh that can be bad, but it doesn't always have to be. It's just like any other house too much of one thing can be bad. Even if it sounds inherently good, self-preservation can be bad, but it doesn't have to. For me personally, if I find myself stuck in a situation that makes me feel uncomfortable, that makes me feel like I'm in danger, that makes me feel scared, I'm going to do whatever I can to get out of that situation. I've had situations where Someone I trust will do something that makes me uncomfortable. And I, I will say it, whether or not the person listens is up to them. My alarm bells will go off when I feel in danger. And then that self-preservation thing will kick in. And I'm not saying that if like my house was on fire, I would just like leave my sister in the, in, in the room and just bolt out of there. Of course not. Um, but when it comes to certain things that I feel is harmful to me in an emotional aspect um, and even physical, I will find a way to excuse myself from what is happening. Even with dating, like I have only gone on a date with someone I didn't know once and yeah. I mean, who knows, that could change. But as of right now, this is how I feel about dating and I'm just like, I don't jump into relationships without thinking it through because I don't wanna do something impulsive and then end up being hurt. And I'm not saying like, if someone were to ask me out, I'd be like, ah, no, you're not worth it. But for me, it'd be like, I have to just get to know you as a friend because that's just how I operate. I feel like I'm gonna be totally judged in this video. I'm kind of careful when it comes to being in a starting relationship, but there are exceptions sometimes, but more often than not, I'm very careful. Self-preservation. 
It's so hot in here and these lights are scorching. So the third and final trait that I connect to the most would be determination. When I set my mind to something that I really care about, a goal that I want, I will do my very best to make it work, to achieve it. This pertains mostly for career. I've always been like that. Even as a kid, I was always very focused. And although academically, when it came to math, I sucked, but when it came to subjects I really cared about, I would work so hard for. And even the subjects that I didn't care about, I worked really hard for. I just didn't get the grades that I wanted. And I believe that my determination is probably one of the reasons why I don't party as much as some other people my age do because I'm just too busy making videos or working on projects, doing things like that, trying to work at achieving my goals. And I'm not saying I don't have fun, I don't like celebrate with people, I do. And I love to, but I don't do it as often as I feel most people my age do. It makes me feel kind of prudish but at the same time, I know I'm trying to get to some place that I want to be. And then after I achieve those goals, I'll be able to like relax a little bit at some point. And then my determination with romance has been quite active. <laughs> like I said, I'm picky with relationships, but when I feel something for someone, I am always determined to make it work. And I'm not talking about like if I have a little crush on someone, I'm going to like harass them and stalk them. If I feel strongly romantically connected to someone, then I'm going to pursue that. I'm going to make it known that, hey, this is how I feel about you. If I see like relationship potential with someone, if I feel a strong connection with them, I will pursue. <laughs> I will be very determined in letting that person know. So do you want something great or not? If not, self-preservation kicks in, <laughs> determination gone, bye. <laughs> Cause for me with love, I'm straight up. No games, I'm not about games, I'm not about this whole like cat and mouse thing. And I'm also very determined when it comes to making relationships work in general. Whether it's a friendship that may be slipping away or a romantic relationship, I will fight as hard as I can to make it work. And some people would just say, just let it go. It's, it's slipping away, let it go. You have to let it go. For me, I'm like, no, I'm not letting go. I am gonna fight until I can't anymore. And oh, guys, so exhausting. It is so exhausting to do that. But uh, that's just how I operate. And sometimes it really is so... <sighs> and when a relationship doesn't work out, I am devastated. Like it's almost like I can't, sometimes I can't accept that it failed or, or like failed, that it didn't work out and train and that I wasn't able to fix it, to make it work. It's very hard for me to accept it. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the three Slytherin traits I connect to the most. There are obviously others that I connect to, and it also gave you guys a chance to get to know me better, more. These Slytherin traits aren't always about being evil and, and manipulative. They have positives, but they also have negatives, just like every other trait for every other house. And that's just what I believe. If you guys relate to what I was saying, then awesome. Like, it makes me feel less alone in my meanness. Let me know in the comment section which three traits you guys connect to the most in your own house. Um, I would love to hear that. And if you want to tell me why, then that'd be great. If you don't feel like sharing, then that's totally fine too. If you liked this video, then please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And like I said earlier, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please join my YouTube family and just click the subscribe button below. If you want to follow me on my social media stuff, or as my cardigan, Balls. All of my social media stuff is in the description box. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Much love guys. Bye. So let it wash over me. I'm ready to lose my feet. Take me off to the place where one reveals life's mystery. Steady on down the line. Losing